Hey guys, welcome back to Hype RC. In today's video, we're going over the brand new MJX HyperGo 14209. Now, we just completed the video on the MJX 14210, which is a truggy style jumping basher. This rig, on the other hand, is more like a sand rail or rock racer type vehicle. It's got a super neat body on it, very Jeep-esque front end, very nice all the way around, spare tire on the back. I, this thing just looks amazing in person. So we're going to get underneath the hood and compare it to the 14210 see if there's any differences between those two models and then we're going to take it out for a real good bash afterwards stick around and check it out so let's take a look at what comes out of the box with your MJX HyperGo 14209. Of course, you get the rig with this absolutely amazing looking body. This thing looks so cool in person. It comes with a hard compound of on-road, off-road tires with an actual functioning fifth wheel spare on the back. It comes with the V1 remote with the throttle trim, the steering trim, of course, the power on off button with the 70 and 100% throttle control and a third channel function button. It comes with a larger set of saucer compound vented tires. It also comes with a 2S 3000 milliamp 25C battery and the charger, a very nice set of instructions, a Phillips head screwdriver, and then extended T-wrench. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's underneath the hood on this rig. So let's take an up-close look at this rig. This body is absolutely killer in person, man. Comes with your driver in there. Very nice headlights. It comes with some top body rail lights on it, man. And it's just super cool. Very nice roll cage rear frame spare wheel on the back uh, same 6061 aluminum chassis and if you notice this body really tucks up tight to that chassis to try to help and keep some of those rocks and dirt out of the body and the motors and everything underneath it so let's go ahead and take a look underneath the hood and pop that off i've already unplugged the light cable so be careful when you're taking the body off this rig there is a light cable that is connected to this extender that comes out of the waterproof box but underneath this rig it is almost exactly the same as the 14210 the same 4400 kv motor esc 45 amps the same waterproof box chassis differentials the one thing that does stand out to me that is different is that the rear shocks and the front shocks are the same length on this rig and man i just mjx just has an absolute set of amazing oil filled shocks it does come with a different rear um, bumper on it than the 14210 and a little bit different of a very very sturdy front bumper man this thing could probably take a pretty good beating on the front end and still maintain its integrity uh same servo so it has the Dean's connector. So it's basically all the same chassis underneath, CVDs, bearings, everything else seems to be about the same. So the main differences between this and the 14210, of course, are that it comes with the same set of shocks, which makes it sit a little bit lower, a different set of tires, a different front and rear bumper and body. But as far as the electronics goes and the drivetrain, it is all exactly the same. MJX Hypergo speed run on 14209 2S. Twenty eight miles an hour. MJX Hypergo one four two zero nine three S speed run.
40 miles an hour. Guys, let's talk about how the MJX Hypergo 14209 performed out there in the test run, and it did absolutely amazing. So let's go over the pros, the cons, and then three must-do upgrades for this rig. We're going to start off with the pros, and just like every other MJX Hypergo 14th scale I've talked about so far, the durability of these rigs is absolutely amazing. I bashed this thing hard on hard dirt gravel and rocks and it took everything i threw out of it and just kept on running did not break a single thing next let's talk about the 45 amp esc in this rig it performs very well i don't have any overheating issues whatsoever out of the motor or the esc let's talk about the 4400 kv motor that's in these these things are just full of torque and power so on 2s we got 28 miles an hour and out of 3s we got 40 miles an hour which is just a little bit slower than the 14210 but the body on this one is much heavier much more durable for rock bashing so with that more more weight that you're going to have you know you're going to lose a couple miles off the top end but 40 miles an hour on a 14 scale vehicle is absolutely ripping let's talk about the tires so the hard compound tires that came on this out of the box performed absolutely amazing and the dry dirt gravel and rocks and the high speed runs so that did very well and then right now I've got the larger softer compound which they do balloon out a little bit but make it running in the tall grass absolutely amazing so the tires are absolutely fantastic you get two free sets right out of the box plus the extra fifth wheel on the back so that is amazing the oil filled shocks that come on your MJX 14 scale hyper goes are amazing they're actually some of the best oil filled shocks i've ever seen on an rtr to the box so no complaints there the all-metal drivetrain in this rig just takes a beating and i have not stripped any diffs i haven't broken any cvds bearings nothing everything works just very very well the only con that i can think of which isn't even a con for me anymore because i'm so used to working on these mjx hypergos is the phillips head screws but the screws are very high quality i highly recommend you get a nice phillips head screwdriver to work on it but the screws work well so i can't even really knock that as a con anymore it's just a matter of preference and i don't prefer phillips head screwdrivers but they actually work very well in this rig so let's talk about the three must do upgrades out of the box we'll start with the third one so it is these little retainer clips for your body pin clips and they just you have to poke a little hole in the body and they mount directly to the body but when you start cartwheeling these things and flipping them and jumping them those body clips have a tendency to pop out so this is a very nice easy upgrade i'll have a link in the description on where to buy these the second upgrade that you need to do for these is an esc extension cable and what that does is allow you to plug and unplug the lights and be able to set this body off to the side and work on it without having to take that clip in and out every single time so it just makes it a lot easier to work on and then the number one upgrade for this out of the box would be this dust cover that i found on ebay this is actually a 1 16th eve revo dust cover but it fits this rig just like it was made for it but it keeps all that dust and dirt and rock if you're going to run it in those kind of conditions 
positions out of the motor, out of the fan, and most importantly, out from underneath the front steering servo. So if you get little pebbles and rocks underneath the steering servo in the, the servo in this, it will lock it up every time. I did not do that one time, and you saw how much gravel and dirt and rock I was throwing up with this thing. So my number one upgrade for this rig would be this dust cover. I will have a link to it in the details down below as well. But Another MJX Hypergo vehicle, 10 out of 10 for this rig. I can't compliment them enough on what they're doing with just putting out great rigs for an unbelievable price. So get out, get your feet wet, get an MJX Hypergo. I recommend the 14th scale bashers, street basher, drifter, jumper, rock racer. They're, they've got everything that you could look for in that scale class, and they're doing an amazing job. So don't forget to support your local hobby shops. Bash, crawl, repeat. Hit that subscribe and like button for me and ring that bell so you can catch my next video. We'll see you next time.